Chris here. I'm at Alcatraz Island, and uh, this is one of the great things to see in San Francisco here. Uh, it was established as a federal penitentiary in 1934, and then 1963 they closed it down. And that was just about a year after the 1962 escape uh, that was in the movie Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood. It was a great and pretty amazing escape. They, actually, the three guys got away. But uh, we are here, we're gonna do a nice little tour, and it uh, should be pretty fun. Located in San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz Island was a federal prison from 1934 to 1962. It's located 1.25 miles offshore from San Francisco. The island is approximately 1,675 feet long and 590 feet wide, with the highest point being 135 feet above the bay, totaling about 22 acres. The waters around Alcatraz are especially treacherous. They're usually very cold. Uh, be well below 60 degrees and the currents are very strong. All right, this is a uh, some really great views of San Francisco right here. Pretty cool tour though. Great day for it. Wow, look at this. There's San Fran right there. <laughs> So it's one and a quarter mile from San Francisco, Pier 33, to get over here. So, so if they got, if they got, if they escaped, they had a mile and a quarter swim to do, unless they could get on a boat somehow. <laughs> but uh, tough goings for the people out here. But right now, it's 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 part bird sanctuary because all the seagulls and pelicans and other uh, sea life out here. Alcatraz was home to prisoners who were considered so violent and dangerous that the authorities wanted them to be kept in isolation and confined at an inaccessible location, held as far away from the public as possible. Regular maximum security prisons were simply not secure enough. Alright, so this is the this is the showers. Oh, they're right in the middle of the room. That's interesting. Maybe you could get your shoes, deodorant, shaving supplies, towels, toothbrush. There's the uh, prison clothes right there. Look at that. The denim blue there, which is interesting. Still popular today. Denim shirts, denim pants. In B and C blocks, the cells were 5 feet by 9 feet with a sleeping cot, a toilet, a small sink with cold running water only. By comparison, today's walk-in closets are about 6 feet by 6 feet or even bigger. Alcatraz, the prisoners were subjected to a strict detailed routine designed to prevent them from plotting an escape or starting fights with guards or other inmates. Only a handful of prisoners ever managed to escape the prison grounds. Even those few men who were inventive enough to bypass the prison's elaborate security protocols and find a way out from the maze of cells and thick walls most likely drowned while trying to swim across San Francisco Bay.
In the late 1920s and early 1930s, the Great Depression had taken hold of the United States. Prohibition had been enforced, and this gave rise to organized crime. The federal government, needing to counteract this, decided to make Alcatraz Island a federal penitentiary in 1934. To house such infamous criminals as Al Capone, Robert the Birdman of Alcatraz Strode, and Machine Gun Kelly. When built in 1934, Alcatraz Island was considered escape proof. But on June 11, 1962, the brothers John and Clarence Anglin and Frank Morris successfully carried out an escape from Alcatraz prison. Behind the prisoner's cells in cell block B was an unguarded three foot wide utility corridor. The prisoners chiseled away the moisture damaged concrete from around an air vent leading to this corridor and the progress was concealed by false walls, which in the dark recesses of the cells fooled the guards. The escape route led up through a fan vent the prisoners removed, and in their beds they placed paper mache dummy heads made with human hair stolen from the barbershop. The escapees also constructed an inflatable raft over many weeks from over 50 stolen raincoats, which they prepared on the top of the cell block. Late in the night, of June 11, 1962, the three inmates tucked the heads that they had made resembling their own likenesses into their beds, broke out of the main prison building via the unused utility corridor, and departed from Alcatraz Island aboard their improvised inflatable raft to an uncertain fate. Thank you.